Hey, what's up? We're talking about Fleetwood Mac's landslide today uh, with a student. And so I'm just walking through the first three chords and the first finger picking gesture of landslide, just the intro and the verse part. So check it out. Here we go. So we're going to have a C chord. I play it with four fingers, so you don't really need them all for this, but first finger on the first fret of the B string, second finger on the second fret of the D, third finger on the third fret of the low E, and fourth finger on the third fret of the A string there for my C chord. Then I'm going to play a full G chord, even though I'm only going to be picking the middle four strings. So first finger uh, at the second fret of the A, third finger at the third fret of the B, fourth finger at the fourth fret of the uh, G string, or sorry, the E string, it's playing a G note. And then right there, uh, uh, what is that? Middle finger at the third fret of the low E for our G. And for an A minor seventh, it's just like your C chord, except you're not using your, sec or your third and fourth finger. So first finger, second finger, like so, right? Like so. So we're in C, G, A minor seventh, G, back and forth. And then, incidentally, we're capable of the third, third fret. It puts us in the key of E flat. So then we're going to go to the right hand, and we're going to work on this gesture with the right hand, which is thumb, index, thumb, middle, thumb, index, thumb. Thumb, index, thumb, middle, thumb, index, thumb. And in the beginning, that might just be enough just to work on that in terms of just playing it on one chord. Thumb, index, thumb, middle, thumb, index, thumb. Thumb, index, thumb, middle, thumb, index, thumb. On the middle four strings. So the thumb is playing the fifth and fourth strings, the index finger is playing the third string, and the middle finger is playing the second string. And then we're gonna put that all together with all of the strings, and it's gonna play. Just like that on one chord, thumb, index, thumb, middle, thumb, index, thumb. And now we're gonna ch we're gonna work through the sequence. So C, G, A minor seventh, G, C, G, A minor seventh, G. The trick is in transitioning from chord to chord, and so what you'll notice is that I'll actually release the pressure on those strings right after I strike the D string on the C chord, and it shortens it, but you still have your, string, your G string ringing, and then you go to the G chord, and I'll actually release the strings right as I strike the D string, so the, the, G, the D string sort of covers my tracks. And then, again, I'll, shake, I'll, I'll strike the, the D string short. I'll just play it, I'll release the notes right as I strike the note, like so. And then, see if you can hear that now as I play it in tempo. just little transition tricks that uh, acoustic guitar players use when they're moving often from chord to chord. They will just have like a little bit, little bit of a trick. It's sort of like a magic trick, like, oh, here's the bass line. Check that out. Hey, thanks for watching. Uh, you know, please like, share, subscribe, tell uh, your lawyer and your accountant all, all about us and uh, stop back next time. Thanks.